Kalicharan, Vishwanath, Krodhi, Vidhata, Ramlakhan, Karma, Sudagar. You must have guessed who I'm talking about. Subhash Gaiji, and we are very fortunate to have Meghna Gai Puri with us, uh, Subhashji's daughter. Subhashji was not feeling well, so he couldn't come to uh, get his Lifetime Achievement Award. But we are very lucky to have Meghna with us because she's president of Wrestling Words. And we at Film Neve and Nishkam TV are on a mission of teaching our kids too. So I just wanted to introduce you to Amneet from Nishkam okay. TV. And make sure they watch a lot of Subhash Gai's movies. Okay. They know about Wrestling Words. Okay. So Amneet, uh, all yours. Hi, nice to meet you. Same here. Um, so you, you were a daughter of a very famous man. How was your childhood like growing up? Um, hi. Hello to uh, everyone who's watching. So um, that's a question I get asked a lot, actually. But uh, when you're growing up as a, as a child, you don't really focus on those things. And uh, especially, I think, the time that I was growing up, there wasn't so much media exposure. Um, you know, and my parents, both of them, come from very humble backgrounds. So uh, they never let me feel like they were special or I was special. Uh, I went to a regular school down the road, and uh, I had a very, very down-to-earth, uh, humble upbringing. Um, and uh, while there was a lot of glamour around me, I never felt that it was, you know, something to uh, show off about. Or you know, I always felt like, okay, that's the nature of my father's work. So, uh, so yeah. But, but I think uh, now, in hindsight, when I think about it, it was something that, um, uh, that an opportunity that very few get, because my father was known to work with big stars. Of course, he launched a lot of stars, uh, did big parties, big shows, and I was always this little kid hanging around observing everything. Um, and I think that's helped me a lot in my journey and my own career, so yeah. Um, uh, most kids that grow up in filmmaking families move on to become actors and producers. Why did you choose a path as an acting teacher? Another question that I get asked a lot. Uh, but it's obviously, it's an obvious question to ask that uh, why wouldn't I grab that opportunity uh, and you know, do something more creative. Um, I, I think that um, from very early on, um, I was, I think, 15 or maybe 14 when I started working with my father. I started attending office. I started assisting him in events. And uh, by the time I was 18, I was assistant in, um, in his film Pardes. So I had a lot of exposure uh, behind the scenes as well. And um, I was fortunate enough to have parents who didn't pressure me to you know, go a certain way, and they said, okay, you try out everything, and then you decide. Um, and luckily, I had the wisdom to know that I wasn't creatively inclined, and uh, I actually enjoyed the, you know, the management and the business and the marketing part of the entire process more. So that's when I chose to get into distribution. So for films like Pardes, Dal, and Yade, I was handling the international uh, distribution for the films. Um, so um, obviously, that is something that I stuck to. Um, film education actually happened to me, uh, and I think it, it is probably the best thing that could have happened to me because with the kind of background I had in filmmaking with my parents, um, with my father, uh, how else would I use that? How else would I use or take his legacy forward? Um, so this was a dream of his. I was uh, working in London at that point when he called me and he said, you have to come back. And uh, like any 21-year-old, <laughs> I didn't want to come back. I was enjoying London too much. Um, but then he shared with me that this was, this was his dream. He wanted to build a film school. Uh, he wanted to build a platform for all those um, young, talented kids who don't come from film families, who don't have uh, any godfather or any person to look after. And he said, this is something I really want to do, and I want you to be part of it. So um, at that point, it didn't make any sense to me. I said, OK, I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe it's just something that you know, uh, may fly. But he was really committed to it, um, and so much so that you know, he invested his life savings into the institute. So if any of you have an opportunity to come to Mumbai and visit Film City, please do come to Whistling Woods, and you'll see the, the grandness of it, just like his movies. It's larger than life. It's huge. And he had a dream and a vision, uh, which I simply got an opportunity to execute. Um, so yeah, so that's how I'm here, and I, I don't think I could have done anything else in my life, really. Uh, tell us about Whistling Woods International and um, how it's grown since you started. 
so we started in 2006 with just about 75 students. Uh, today we are, um, and we started with just a school of filmmaking. Today we have seven different schools and we have uh, over 1,200 students on campus. We have um, more than 2,500 alumni studying, um, working in the industry. So uh, it has grown a lot and we have uh, really, really come a long way. We got listed amongst the top 10 by the Hollywood Reporter, uh, top 10 film schools in the world. Um, and not just the film school, we have a school of media and communication, we have a school of music, um, a school of animation. Um, and our students and alumni are doing so brilliantly well that um, you know, this thing was really becoming a name to reckon with when it comes to film schools. Um. What experiences did you get from running uh, a school of this caliber? Oh God, it's been a roller coaster ride. Uh, we've had, uh, we have, we've dealt with everything, from uh, you know building the campus from scratch. It was literally a, a forest land, and you know like uh, just grass, lots of grass growing everywhere, and uh, from from you know, working on the structure and the architecture to meeting film schools from all over the world. Uh, my father and I visited over 50 film schools all over the world just to understand how film education uh, is, is done right. Um, and um, you know, and from, so from building curriculum to, um, to bringing in faculty, because in India there's no culture of film education, so to bring in faculty was something that was uh, really, really difficult as well. So to bring faculty in and to really bring the best people from the industry to interact with our students. So it's been uh, quite a journey and yeah, learned a lot through the, along the way. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you. It's Thank been you a great conversation. Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.